We've got these different perspectives we're going to be investigating tonight. We've got infinity looked at from the point of view of philosophy, theology, mathematics, and physics. We want to know questions like, is the universe infinitely large? Is there some infinity smaller than the continuous infinity, but bigger than the infinity of the one, two, three variety? What if the notion of infinity turns out to be something that only works if we never imagine it to be actualized at all? We're at a crossroads right now. There's a series of conjectures, very precise. And the key question is whether these conjectures can be proved or not. The theme that I've encountered in physics is that when we see infinities, they signal that something's wrong with our theories. Whether infinity is real or not, we get a lot of insight by pretending that infinity exists. It's not a simple matter of a calculation. It's a matter of trying to understand the concepts. I never write equations down, so I get very strange looks when people <laughs> see me working and then they move away. Uh, <laughs> it could be that, that you come upon a structure which later in some way or another has an application in our description of nature. What if the interesting thing between us is that there are interesting cognitive similarities between what Hugh does for a living, what you guys do for a living, what a, a classic philosopher might do, taking something to be understood, grasping it to some extent, failing to some extent, and we're trying to get some measure on where we succeed or where we fail. So hands up all those people who are attracted to mathematics because there's always a unique right answer. <laughs> <laughs>